Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal-setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. A lot of founders like to be the front facing person. I always have been in most of my companies, like, you know, front facing, doing the the press, but sometimes you might need to bring in somebody to round out the team, whether it's a CEO or president or CMO or somebody that's like, is somewhat forward facing. And, you know, I think it was really smart and a good Mm -hmm. thing to like, keep in mind if you're building a company and there's, there's something that might be missing. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of Light Pink, best-selling author, three-time fitness world champion, and I'm a crazy multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me everywhere from being a broke waitress, barista, retails associate, and personal trainer with massive anxiety and no belief in myself to later becoming a multi-millionaire in love with my life. In 2007, my husband and I lost everything. We found ourselves hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt at rock bottom. We had no ideas and I had no education to fall back on. This is when I found personal development and learned everything I could about business, not by choice, but because I realized no one was coming to save me. The conversations on this podcast are going to let you know that you're not alone and that we all feel like we don't know what we're doing. We're going to give you the tools to help you face your fears, take action, start your business and grow those massive dreams that are keeping you up at night. It's time to create a life that you can't hide from and put so much on the line that your higher self is forced to come out. You're going to stop waiting for someone to approve of you and you're going to anoint yourself. Because I'm obsessed about building businesses that give women a platform, I want to feature you. So if you text the word podcast, to 310-496-8363. You can get your questions answered 
on our Q&A segment along with a shout out. And if you rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast, we're choosing someone every month to get coached and featured on our show. It just might be you. So let's get started. Ali, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Oh, it's so good to be back. My, you're <laughs> one of my very favorite people. This is super fun. It's Thanks so funny because I literally was texting you just because I literally missed your face. I was like, I miss talking to her. I got so used to talking to you all the time. But I was like, I need to know what's going on. I feel like I'm out of the loop because in one week, things move so fast. It's yep. crazy. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, did you see this announcement? What? I was like, what <laughs> announcement are you talking about? And I go and I read this <laughs> Forbes article about you becoming president of Canopy. Do you want to talk a little yes. bit about that? And we're going to just give everybody the journey of how that even happened and talk about why Canopy has is such incredible branding and why it's a good product. So you guys listening, you can really apply this to your own business to see what Allie took into consideration before she even decided to become president of Canopy. So tell me what Canopy is and tell me a little bit about the journey to becoming president. You know, it's funny because I've not really ever had an official title like that. I mean, I was the co-founder of Drybar and I get tons of like, quote unquote titles, but like, it's nice to just be the president. It's interesting. And it before I go into Canopy and how I got there, it is interesting how we continue to like talk to people. And this all came about because of like networking, because yeah. I got connected to somebody through somebody through somebody because I was actually exploring potentially doing a hair product line, which I think mm -hmm. I probably told you a little bit about just in this very explorative time when I'm trying to figure out like what gets me excited. And I mm -hmm. kept like, kind of going down this path of like, what do I want to be doing? Like, what am I really excited about? And I love Squeeze and I love Beckett and Quill and I love these other projects, but there was still something that I wanted to be doing that mm. I couldn't find, you know? And I'm also like writing my second book. I have no shortage of shit going on, yeah. <laughs> but I was still searching for something. And maybe I was even subconsciously, but anyway, so I got connected. Well, first let me tell you what Canopy is. So if you don't know what Canopy is, which I didn't, by the way, which you did, which made me really happy. <laughs> Although I'm happy to say more people don't know, which is yep. really good news. That's a good thing. Um, so, you know, Canopy makes humidifiers and diffusers, but they make humidifiers that are far superior, best in class than any other humidifier that you have. Humidifiers, as we all know them, are usually like that weird blue glass. They're ugly. Yes. They're messy. They get moldy and gross. And even though in theory, we all love them and want to love them, they're a pain in the ass and yeah. people don't like them. And I had like a mild relationship with humidifiers. Like I had them <laughs> in my kids' rooms when they were younger. And like, if somebody was sick, you'd get a humidifier and then you'd end up throwing it away and all of that. So, you know, didn't really care much about humidifiers mm -hmm. until I started talking to Justin, who's the CEO of Canopy. And under the guise of like, I want to start a product line. Can you help me? Help me with like packaging and supply and all of that. And he started telling me about Canopy. And as soon as he started talking, I was looking on their Instagram and I was like, well, shit, their branding's good. Like, what mm. is this? Why are you guys even doing this? And what he explained to me was the other the CEO, co-CEO and co-founder, Lucas, his girlfriend lives in New York City, has had a humidifier forever and will spend like an entire afternoon cleaning her humidifier. And he's like, what are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. why do you need this thing all the time? Like, you're not sick. She explained to him because of the benefits for her skin and mm. how having a humidifier running 24 seven is incredibly good for your skin. And we all want like dewy hydrated skin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's interesting. Wait a second. This is like a beauty tool. And then it's like, oh, it, it has amazing benefits for your hair because it's hydrating to your hair and to your dry scalp. And my mind started to get blown mm. by all of this. And then they've created this filter that's like basically you pop out the filter. If you sign up for their subscription, which almost everyone does, it's $10 a month to get this filter. Mm. You just, they send you one in the mail so you don't ever have to like keep track of six weeks. You just, every time it comes in the mail, you pop it in and you can see in your filter at whatever impurities are in your water. The, the, the filter itself looks kind of crazy when you take it out. But there's also this LED light in there. So it, it, it's constantly keeping the water that's in there clean and so it never gets moldy and you basically let it run out. So anyways, I was like, this is the coolest thing. And when I, you know, they sent me articles and they have an amazing dermatologist on staff, like, or whatever that works with them. And I started reading some of the stuff that she was saying and just how having like, and now I'm such a nerd on this stuff, 30 to 50% 
humidity in your room mm. at all times is optimal for your skin and health and hair. And I was like, I think this is the coolest thing. Not to mention their growth and their trajectory has been amazing and they're only in business a year. So I was like, I want to be in. And, you know, and then we, we started talking, this was a couple months ago and we just started talking about what this would look like and what the value I could bring was and, and all that. So, oh my God, I love it. And I think it's so important, not only, first of all, we're going to talk about the company, we're going to talk about the branding, we're going to talk about why you were interested and you touched on that a little bit. But let me just tell you, moving to Arizona ages you. Like <laughs> literally you. I look no. in the mirror and oh I'm like, God. I look like I aged five years in literally the year that I've lived here. And it's crazy because- you don't, by the way. Well, you thank crazy. you. But it's, I understand the feeling of it. it just, dried you out. I literally just feel like I put Aquaphor on my face like daily because it's just like so painful. I'm like, hold on. I can't like Uh, laugh or smile. It hurts. But you know, it's funny because I have friends who live in Costa Rica and they look younger and younger, I swear. And it's because they're so freaking hydrated. And Mm -hmm. we had friends who also had moved to Arizona and they used to tell us, they're like, I aged 10 years. And when I got out of there, I looked amazing again. Like I was like, it's so true. Amazing. It's so true. I mean, Mm -hmm. and especially as we age. And then it's like, it's interesting, like you said, like it's hard to smile. I mean, I, I also found it kind of fascinating listening to Dendi, the dermatologist, talking about how, I know this is kind of gross, but like inside your nose, if it gets too dry, shit starts to crack in yeah. there. Like, and so when there's that crackage, that's what allows like irritants and like, you know, the bad shit to get up into your, you know, into oh, your interesting. Whole sinus yeah. Cavity. It's like your skin you know, your nose, I'm not explaining it as well as she does, but you get the gist, you know, and it's just like, holy shit, this is like paramount. Like, Mm. you know, and that's where I felt so inspired. And I just feel like women need to know about this. And of course, I'm just in a phase two in my life where I'm getting older, I'm trying to like figure out how to like stay and feeling good Mm -hmm. without, you know, having to go to crazy lengths for it. And this just feels like one of these things that just should be a staple for women everywhere. I mean, people everywhere, but definitely women. I feel so much better when I'm in moisture. Like when I go to Maui, even when I go to LA, it's way more, I just yes. feel so good. So I love this so much. It's funny because my friend got one and she loves it. And I was like, what is that? That's so cute. And then I saw Lauren Bostick did <laughs> yeah. a collaboration with it. So I'm super excited. What's crazy is we spend so much money on beauty stuff and moisturizers just to like find one that works with your skin too. And a lot of it is probably what they need in the air, like actual humidity. So tell me about the branding and what really drew you to it and why you think it's doing so well, because this company is already doing so incredibly amazing. What do you think those things are within the brand that are making it do well? Well, I think that to your point about it being cute, the humidifiers, most other brands are just not cute. They're very medical devicey looking. Totally. And like you bear that if you really want to have a humidifier. It's like, uh, I don't really want to have it in my bedroom or my living room. These guys were really smart and they realized like we should make this aesthetically pleasing so mm-hmm. people want to have it in their home. So they just kind of blend in. And they're also, they don't put out like the way most humidifiers do that kind of big droplets of water. It's called evaporative moisture, which basically means like if you are looking at your canopy, you can see a little, I barely see a little bit of water. You can like feel it, but it, because it's evaporative, it's not making the big puddles. And it's also why it's not bad for your hair. You know, it's mm. like, obviously if you're in South Florida, the relative humidity is 80%, like it's going to freeze your hair. This is like, you're getting relative humidity of 30 to 40 or 30 to 50%. So, you know, it's, it's all working well. It's not like over misting the room because you also don't want a big puddle, you know? And mm-hmm. so I love that. I love the company branding. The name is great. The aesthetic is great. It's just such an easy, simple thing. They also have this like little puck on it and they are doing all these collaborations with different like oils and companies that you can just drop it in. So it also makes your house smell really good. Mm. I love the whole thing. And, and maybe it's also because we've all been home so much and we really want to enhance our homes, you know, as much as we can. They do also make a diffuser just for scent, which they've also done mm. better than, than anybody else is out Wait, there. So can you put actual scent as well in the humidifier? There's this little puck that it comes with. And yeah. when, you, when you sign up and you get the whole like package, which is you get kind of a discount for buying the whole thing. It does come with like aromatherapy little oh, vials. Oh, that's that you so cool. In, yeah, that also make your house smell good. So, you know, some of the reviews you can read are like, oh, I don't need candles as much anymore because I get the smell. And they've been really popular because they, you know, now you also have that really great smell in your room. And they also make 
the diffusers, which are just purely for the, you know, aromatherapy. Oh, I love that though, because it kills two birds with one stone because I'm like, I love when my house smells really good, but I'm also like, do I want my diffuser plugged in? Do I want both? There's a lot. So I actually like that it's in one. I think the other thing for me, it's funny, I was just in Vail and they deliver, we had called down to get humidifiers because our noses were bleeding, Allie. We could not sleep Mm -hmm. because it was that dry. And I was like, I was waking up, my tongue was like leather in the middle of the night because it was so dry. It was negative 26 degrees in the morning. My brother used to live in Vegas and I remember going to Vegas and I know exactly what you mean when you Ugh. say your skin. But that's what I love about this. It's like humidity. It's like moisture from the outside in. It's, mm. I love it. Yeah, I'm super excited for mine. With it's that said, way. I didn't want to plug in the humidifier though because they're so gross. They're like, I'm scared of the mold. Like, I don't know what's in there. I don't, they yeah. don't seem like they've been cleaned very well. So I know that this has like some technology where I think you only, is it, you only have, really have to clean it once a week? Oh, I don't even think you need to do it once a week. I mean, I it says it has an say anti I I mold mean, technology, which yes, is super cool. Which exactly. I'm, it's this LED light that kills the bacteria, mm. any bacteria that is in the water. And you don't ever shut it off. Like it's just kind of always plugged in and you just let the water run out. But if you did shut it off, there is that technology in it that once you turn it on again, the LED light will kill the bacteria. And you see when you take the filter out, anything that's in your, basically in your water gets captured in the filter. So, and when you see it in person, you'll see that it doesn't, it doesn't look anything like your typical humidifier. It is simple to clean and it is dishwasher safe. So my question for you is, I think what's so interesting is how you're doing all of these different things, but you still felt like there was something that you're like, I just feel like I'm meant to also do something maybe not bigger, but just something else. What do you feel like this is fulfilling? Like what need for you that was missing before is this now fulfilling in your life? I'm so glad you asked that because it it is like, I've been thinking about it so much because I have felt so fulfilled by this, this whole thing and like finally telling people and announcing it. And it's like, what is it? And I think the thing, Lori, is that it's such a like, perfect opportunity for me to leverage the things that I'm good at. Oh, you know, it's that. like I've cultivated amazing relationships over the last 10 years, building dry bar and other companies. And I have great women like you, like, I mean, and just for people listening, like I text, well, Lori texted me and was like, what you been doing? And I'm like, Oh, by the way, like read this Forbes story, you know? And then her immediate response was like, how can I help you get the word out there? Mm-hmm. Like so fucking grateful for that. But, you know, I've cultivated Mm -hmm. so many relationships like this because we all help each other. You know, it's like the name of the game. Like I would do anything for Lori. Lori would do anything for Mm -hmm. me. And I have tons of friends like that, as does she. And so I've built this relationship where people love and trust me and vice versa. And I'm really careful to not over ask and only to like, I knew you would love this because like, mm-hmm. you lived in Arizona, <laughs> you know, and I, I knew and just as a friend, but I, I'm careful to, you know, not over ask and because I want to, I really do want to be cognizant of people's like a favor giving it's, mm-hmm. I, I'm really sensitive to it. But anyways, you know, being able to leverage that, being able to leverage like what I've learned over the years mm-hmm. of growing and scaling a business. You know, I'm also helping these guys with a big raise. We're, we're in the process of raising about $6 million mm-hmm. and I've raised a lot of money. I've been involved in a lot of raises and I know how this works. And I also know people to go after for it and who's going to be interested in it. And I'm talking to some really... I should actually talk, I was, as we were talking, I was like, I should send this to Lori and see if she wants to invest. Yeah, I was because, like, please send it you know, to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. And I've been thinking about that. And then not to mention like all of my connections and contacts with Sephora's of the world and, and mm-hmm. knowing that space really well and understanding what they want and what their consumer wants and what you know drives that business. And so I would say mm-hmm. like, as far as my role with that, um, I'd say those are my big buckets, like helping with like being front facing, helping raise awareness on the brand, helping with like product development. I have so many ideas, stuff mm-hmm. that I can't really talk about yet that I want to do. They have a lot of ideas of things they want to do. There's a lot of like cross-pollination between hair and skin that mm-hmm. I want to do, collaborations that I want to do. And I have all those ideas and connections. So it's like between the PR side of it, and really helping getting the word out, product development and raising money to grow and scale a business. Like that's what I know. And branding and, you know, they've already really conquered that, which I was so blown away by. And it's been really fun, which is never something I would have imagined if you had asked me five years ago, coming into a brand that's already established. I'm not, I didn't develop this brand. I didn't found this company. I just came in and saw like, holy shit, this is something special and I want to be involved, you know? And I've, you know, made a big investment myself and I really wanted to be involved in this company. And it's so nice to come in. And I know you can appreciate this 
and not have to do the heavy lifting. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, the brand is established. The branding is like creative is amazing. And so now I get to come in and like, I feel like a kid in a candy shop. Mm. I get to come in and like play around and come up, like have some of the ideas or my ideas are very lofty and they're like, we don't know if we can do that, but who cares? You know, I'm just going to like throw them out yeah, there. Yeah, got to throw them all um, out. I think that's why it feels so exciting to me. It makes total sense to me, like why you're doing it. And I think it's a perfect fit because I'm in the place where probably the you of five, 10 years ago, maybe more, where it's like, I feel like I have to be in the trenches to understand, to get to where you are right now, because that's eventually what I would love to do is go just be in my zone of genius, which is a lot of what you're doing. It's the networking, it's the connections, it's the people, it's the vision. It's like, I love that stuff. So I think just even Mm -hmm. what I'm taking away from you sharing that is how can I get in my zone of genius faster? Because that's where the energy is. Allie, you are so lit up right now. Like this is the most lit up I've seen Mm -hmm. you in a really long time. You're always a happy person. You're always like so incredible with people. But I also know that you were searching for like that next thing that really, really lights you up. So it excites me knowing like this is what it looks like when we get back to our zone of genius, we get to play in that. It feels more like play, right? Yeah, it doesn't feel like work. Like I'm so excited. And I was even saying, so Justin, who's the CEO, co-CEO and this guy, Eric, who's the CMO. I'm like, I think I might be driving them crazy because I'm constantly (laughs) texting them and I just want to talk. And it's like, they're a year in. I feel like I'm like the new kid on the block. And I'm like, guys, have we thought about this? And I I just am coming at them so hard because I am so excited. But yeah, I mean, it's like, what a great feeling. Mm -hmm. And and I love what you said about zone of genius, because I think I am in my sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I'm so excited and motivated. And I just like, I'm sending texts at 1030 on Saturday night. And then I'm like, oh shit, it's Saturday. I (laughs) I need to chill the fuck out. And like, give everybody a little bit of space, but it doesn't feel, it's, mm. I know it's like such a cliche, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't really feel like work. No, like, but I'm that's just, the goal. I love it. Yeah. That's why I love goal. hearing you talk right now is that's the actual goal is to, sometimes we have to build the foundation, but then how fast can you build the team around you to get you back into the zone of genius? Because we all know what happens. Like there are days I'm like, I got to get out of this. I'm starting to not like this company because Mm -hmm. I am not like I'm in manufacturing. Like, no, that is like, yeah, Yeah. exactly. I'm like, I'm not even good at this. What am I doing? I think there, it's also probably interesting to point out on the flip side of what these guys did as the founders of the company. You know, it's like they've had a year of tremendous growth Mm -hmm. and it's probably a good question to ask Justin is this opportunity happened so organically. And I, I don't know that they were necessarily searching for like a mm-hmm. president of the company or they were searching for me, but I think they did. I mean, obviously they recognize, and this is the message for founders and people who are, have started their own company or listening. It's like, they recognize that there was a little bit of a missing piece or mm-hmm. person, right? Because they were three dudes, really smooth, you know, Eric, Justin, and Lucas, super smart guys, great idea amazing execution and innovation, like off to the races. And then they were like, but we recognize that we have a really big opportunity Mm. in the beauty space to be like the beauty tool. We probably need a little bit of help getting there. And I have to tell you, like in my, some of my conversations with beauty editors and like Sephora, it's like, oh, cool. (laughs) There's like a woman involved now from like a woman's perspective. It's just like part of doing business. You know, Mm -hmm. it's like, I just bring this beauty perspective. So if you have a company right now, you know, that we talk about it a lot, like in the impact series, like A lot of founders like to be the front facing person. I always have been in most of my companies, like, you know, front facing, doing the the press. But sometimes you might need to bring in somebody to round out the team, whether it's a CEO or president or CMO or somebody that's like is somewhat forward facing. And, you know, that's what these guys did which I think is was really smart and a good Mm -hmm. thing to like keep in mind if you're building a company and there's there's something that might be missing. That is so good to hear. And I think a lot of people, you know, especially if they're more in the beginning phases or even in the middle, sometimes we feel like we have to do it all ourselves. And that is, Mm -hmm. that is just the biggest stick in your spokes. I don't know if I've ever used that analogy. It's kind of old. I like it. (laughs) But it does really stop you. It stops you because there is all of those elements where, you know, now they're even talking about, I'm sure you've heard, but like having companies have like a front facing CEO and then like a back end CEO because they're two totally 
different. How great is that? I'm like, give me the, give me the front facing. I need to find my behind the scenes yeah. CEO. That is exactly what yeah. I have to find. So, and that relieves me. It makes me feel like, okay, this company is really going to go where I want it to go. Because when you're switching back and forth, let me tell you, the last thing I want to do is go do PR or network or go to a networking dinner after I've been in the trenches all day. I'm like, hell no, I can't switch gears oh like God. that. Me too. I definitely think I'm an introverted extrovert. Like I, I really get a lot of energy from being up on stage. And like, even right now, like I'm so excited to be talking about this, but then I'm like, I just, I need quiet. And like, I don't, need I to can't, be alone. I can't go from this <laughs> to then like, yeah, to like a dinner. No, yep. I'm the same way. And I, I think there are like other people for, you know, different things, which, you know, I know we've talked about so many times, but it's like, you shouldn't want to, you can't do everything. You mm-hmm. definitely need it help. And, you know, and I think more and more people are coming around to that. I'm literally manifesting it daily of like, I'm trying to write down exactly what I want. And like, how can I get back to that place where I am the most useful for the company, which is exactly what you are right now for this brand is you are in the most useful place that you could possibly be for the company because of your years of building and in the beauty, like you are going to accelerate that by five or 10 or however long you were in the beauty industry. You've already done all the things. You've already screwed up all the things. You already know exactly where to go and what to do. And that really is, you're just an accelerator for it. So that's so exciting. I mean, I hope for people listening, like you started to hear maybe what you know you need to get out of and what's most important for your company. Because sometimes we can think like, oh, we shouldn't, you know, bring this person on or we should try to do this on a budget, but it's actually hurting typically when you are not in your zone of genius. You're probably hurting your company if you're staying in that place where you have really low energy and you're not excited because you're the heartbeat. So it's really, really important. So, all right, where can we get it? Where can we find it? So the website is getcanopy.co, which is like the new thing now, not com.co, getcanopy.co. But by the time this is live, they will have launched in Sephora.com, which is really exciting. And, mm-hmm. you know, all the greatest brands live on Sephora.com. Sephora gave us Dry Bar our start and were so great to us. And I'm so happy that they're, they're launching on Sephora. So it's kind of like if you're buying skincare products, you should be buying a canopy. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they should just go hand in hand. So they'll be on the Sephora site or you can go to their site and check it out. I heard Beyonce has like five humidifiers in her bedroom at night or something. So maybe I need five. I, you know, it's funny because, you know, there is like a square footage component to this. I signed up because I just, I want to make, keep going through the yeah. experience like a consumer does. And I, so I bought, I have like four now, but I'm like, I want them in every like corner of my house. I love it so much. So, I love it. Yeah, me and I'm gonna, Beyonce. I'm gonna, you're going to be Beyonce. I'm going to come to your house. It's going to be Beyonce. like yeah. jungle atmosphere, <laughs> like misty. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much, Allie. This is so much fun. It's always fun to hear just the trajectory of your career because so many people are watching you and have you as a North Star of what they can do and where they can go. So I'm so excited that you're sharing just getting back in that zone of genius and what that looks like. So, okay, you guys, the best thing that you can do for our guest today is go buy a humidifier. <laughs> just go to Sephora, <laughs> yes, Sephora.com and try it out. You're going to love it, especially because you can make your house smell amazing too. And also just share this on stories. Let Allie know what your biggest takeaway was. Even if you're not going to get a humidifier and you're a crazy person, it's fine. But let her know what your biggest takeaway from this podcast yes. was. That's always love the best thing that. that we can do for our guests. And until next time, earn your happy. Bye everyone. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back 
and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to Circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14-day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. 
But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our lives life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori.